Hi, this is Veronica from Paint My Moment here with a short little informational video regarding a subject you probably weren't expecting. First off, you get to learn two things about me. One is that I'm a substitute teacher, and two, I'm a very big Food Network fan, especially of culinary genius Alton Brown. Now, how do these two things relate? Uh, let me explain a bit. Not too long ago, I had a sub, had a sub job where I had heard a bunch of students referring to waffles as nothing but pancakes with abs. Now, that slightly set me off a little bit because as a longtime Food Network fan, I know firsthand that how pancakes are not waffles. And I'll be glad to explain the difference to you. Now, first off, all I hear many people who have actually used pancake batter into a waffle iron, but let's set the record straight here. What you have made is not a waffle. What you have basically made is a waffle-shaped pancake. Now, it's nothing too wrong with that. It'll still taste good and everything. It just won't be a waffle. Now, allow me to explain how the two actually are similar, as they are both, you know, contain eggs, flour, and a leavening agent, and they're both served for breakfast. But after that, we get a lot of differences here. Now, pancakes, although brown on the outside, tend to be floppy, soft, and spongy, with an interior that greatly resembles that of cake. Now, waffles, on the other hand, they are crisp on the outside, almost with a harder edge, and basically light on the inside, very similar to that of beignets and funnel cake, even hush puppies and donuts. In short, waffles are actually fried, although instead of directly immersing them in hot oil, you encase them in hot oil-covered metal. Now, a few other points regarding waffle batter here. Waffle batter contains a higher percentage of sugar, which is used for caramelization. And waffle batter also includes a bit more fat than pancakes, which is used for a crispy exterior. Now, if you need a little visualization on how these two compare, let me help you here. I, I'm kind of on a budget here. You just kind of have to work with me here. Now, this, as you probably recognize, is a stack of pancakes. And inside, you'll see... It's got a very soft, crumbly interior. Now, why do I say crumbly in particular? If you refer, if you know anything about cake, it is that if you have a slice of cake and you refer to the interior structure of it, it is called a crumb. Now, in this case, this is how the two relate. The interior of a pancake is also that of a crumb. So that is actually how you would help describe it. Basically, what you have here is cake for breakfast. Hence, pancake. I don't think that was an accident. But, back to waffles. Waffles, on the other hand, are harder and very crispy on the outside. They are able to hold their structure and are much more rigid, while the inside tends to be light and pillowy even. And it's going to be much more softer inside, sometimes even hollow. And if you have that, you know they're still both very tasty and that you're going to enjoy either one. Now, for another comparison here, here are some beignets and a slice of yellow cake. Now, as you can see, just like with the waffle, you will have the crispy exterior and the pillowy interior, while the cake has that crumb we were talking about earlier, and as you see, it greatly resembles that of the pancakes. So, for those of you who are ever confused, Waffles and pancakes are two different things. They are not similar, although it is okay to have either as they are both delicious and they are both great for breakfast. Until next time, this is Veronica of Paint My Moments, and I'll see you next time.